You want to try this weird egg? Yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> that tastes sweet, too. Probably was sitting on something now. Thanks. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? Nah, this ain't no clickbait. Hey guys. Hey guys, it's Steph. And Sasha, and we are back with another video. Before we get into the video, I wanna ask you guys to please thumbs this video up if you like it, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. And if you've been here before, welcome back. My beautiful baby is gonna tell you what we're doing today. So today, you guys, we are doing Poke Bowl mukbang it's actually a pokey platter okay we have so much and this is a small okay <laughs> i don't know how this is small right. this is american size small okay yeah. okay so i'm ready you ready yes then let's get into the video all right guys we're back so let me tell you what we have poke bowls i'm gonna tell you what's in mine i have rice and um spring mix i have Spicy tuna, egg, avocado, jalapeno, wonton, uh, imitation crab, wasabi, ginger, and these are uh, yellow radish. And green onion. Green onion, cilantro. Okay. In mine, I have crunchy wontons, ginger, crab, spring mix, and rice, edamame, um, spicy albacore, jalapenos, that's all. Oh, and some seaweed salad. Mm -hmm. Let's give them a close up. So this is mine, guys. These things are jam packed with like deliciousness and flavor. I also have egg in mine. Yummy. I didn't get egg because that egg doesn't look like an egg to me. Yeah, it looks weird. This this is what the egg looks like, guys. Disclaimer: If you can't hear us that well. We haven't learned how to use our mic exactly the right way and edit it, so you can only hear out of the right, left, I think. out of the left headphones. Either take the headphones off or listen, but we might have fixed it, so right. I don't know. All right, and then we have the house ponzu sauce here. It's really good. I got some sriracha Tasha has. Oh, I put the sweet soy glaze on it. That's why you see that little line on mine. Okay, you guys, we want to give a shout out to two special people today. Hey, Dr. Linda Montgomery, how you doing? And my boyfriend, five-year-old Miles. Hey, Miles. Hey, Miles. My face is probably, yeah. Go ahead, <laughs> say hey, Miles again, but Hey, Miles. Yeah, so that's what Miles does, you guys, when we do, when Stephanie sings, let's get into the video, he covers my face up. <laughs> What's up, Miles? All right. Oh, I got some, it's new surprises. I got some edamame down here, cucumber. I mean, you, you just load the bowl up with all kind of goodness, you guys. Oh, I have cucumber, too. If you haven't tried pokey, especially if you like sushi, I would say definitely try it. Because I think all the most of the meats that they put on here are um, raw, uh -huh. so you got you got to be into sushi. Mm. Pokey is like a deconstructed sushi. It is, but they have they do offer a lot more ingredients usually than sushi has to me. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Very good. We weren't even gonna mukbang this, but we did. Anyway, mm. I don't we think I've ever tried yellow radish before. Have you guys? How is it? I'm about to try it right now by myself. So that's yellow radish. I don't know if this is pickled or just plain, but we'll see. Mm. How is it? It's definitely flavor. It's good. I don't think it's pickled, but it's it's marinated in something. Tastes Asian-ish. Mm -mm. The flavors. I don't care for it. it tastes like um sweet pickles, kind of. Mhm. Mm and wasabi. Oh, it's some wasabi on it. You want some wasabi? Oh, absolutely not, honey. You want to try this weird egg? Yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> that tastes sweet too. Probably was sitting on something now. Thanks. <laughs> mm. This is really good. It really is. This is um like I really like Asian food, you guys. I'm really into it. I think that's my I think it's probably my favorite. Mm. 
when it comes to um, what I don't cook, mm. gotcha. my favorite fast food or not fast food, favorite food outside of the house. I love Chinese. I love Japanese. Just found out I like Korean. I love mm. Thai. So I just love Asian food. Period. All of it. I do too. I don't really like Chinese that much. I love Japanese, Korean. What else? We haven't tried, really tried Filipino. I don't know if that's considered. That's like Asian. Asian. Yeah. Um, I've never. I don't think I've ever really had Filipino food. Not really. This is so good. If you guys are into poke bowls, let us know what you like to put on yours. Mm. This is really good. And they always have so many different sauces, but I think I always get the ponzu. I would like to try some other sauces, mm -hmm. but I'm scared to veer too far away from what I know I like. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Stephanie eats a lot of stuff she don't like, if y'all haven't noticed. <laughs> like the 57 sauce, she just kept wanting to taste it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was horrible. Mm -hmm. This is very tasty though. Mm -mm. I used to be scared to eat edamame. What? Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't feel like I was gonna like it, but mm. it's really good. I'm sorry if we move in the table. Do we have a mic set up? We need to stop hitting it. Yeah, we have a real bootleg set up right now, yes. Mm -hmm. Because we forgot to get. As you guys can see, wait, mm -hmm. can they see the cup? We haven't seen. Let me show y'all. <laughs> so we put it in the cup <laughs> because. We didn't have a. We didn't buy the stand for it and didn't know to buy oh the God. stand. Yeah. We didn't so, think about the fact that we needed um, the stand. So now we have to wait till we have another moment. Yeah, to go get. We got to do something. Mm -hmm. We will be getting a stand soon, you guys. Probably would have been smarter to put maybe put some a napkin in there and then. It'll be quiet. But oh well. But I mean, I haven't heard it. I haven't either. In the videos we've done, so. This we, is really no one else. We might not ever get it. Mike saying, "I know <laughs> if the gut works." <laughs> right. Mm. Let me give y'all a bite. And Stephanie, you know one of our loyal subscribers. I can't remember her name. There you go. She said, "You know, you give them bites, but you take it right back." So I, I don't really I, get I, a good bite. Fast. I noticed that too. But it's like I want to put it in my mouth so fast, so fast that. It's just taking too long, guys. You wrong, mm. baby. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna do y'all like that no more. Mm. I'm just so good. Ooh, pause it up. Mm. And it's nice to have a break from cooked food and just to get a lot of freshness. Mm -hmm. Your body like needs that, you know? Oh yeah, cause I don't think we are gonna put it out before this, I'm not sure, but we did steak, yeah, and then I did chili cheese hot dogs <laughs> right after. And Stephanie did pizza, right. so we both are we, paying we for it. This. <laughs> we don't really do it like that, you guys. And if you have a stomach that can do that, wonderful. I don't think our stomachs can really handle two heavy meals in a day, mm -hmm. so we we pay for it. And then beef too. Yeah, we definitely pay for it. But if you drink the right thing. Like I drink these, um, I drink this lemon ginger tea with probiotics. Mm. It, it's it's really good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. Mm-hmm. Same here. You want to try some did, did my um, yeah, I do. Did my body need this? But my mouth needed it. You know what I'm saying? It's like after you eat so much hot food, oh, you want fresh stuff. Uh huh. Mm. Thank mm. you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. This ginger is so good. Yeah, y'all. I'm gonna give y'all a bite. A good bite. And this is the spicy tuna. Got a little edamame radish on it. Spring mix and rice. Mmm. Mmm. Spicy tuna is delicious. Mm. 
Oh, this is wonderful. If you guys are new here, or not new and you like vlogs, check out our vlog channel at Steph and Tasha Vlogs. The link will be in the description below. Our son is in that video in, in on that channel a couple times, and at some point we are going to post a lot more. I think right now we have what twenty videos on there. I feel like it has to be more than twenty because we did Vlogtober and we did pretty good. Mm. Plus, I had already uploaded a lot of videos, so I don't know. I would say like forty, maybe. Okay, we're gonna do um. That's where we're gonna post our challenges and everything like that. We're probably not gonna do it on this channel. We're gonna keep this channel more mukbangish. At least that's what we think. Right. Nothing you is set in stone. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm so happy with this. And I, didn't, I haven't even eaten a lot of my. my so they gave me like protein. We got the two protein bowl. Mm -hmm. And then the rest is just like veggies and stuff. I haven't even eaten a lot of my protein. Really? And it's really enjoyable, though, you know? Mm hmm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy. Really good. Before we start doing mukbangs, I think I used to want pokey at least like twice a week. Mm. I was really craving pokey. Like right before we started doing it, remember? Mm -hmm. I wanted pokey so much. <laughs> I do remember you always wanted to go to Nishi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I've never got it. 50-50. 50-50 is spring mix and rice. Stephanie usually gets it like that. I never do. I actually didn't even get it 50-50. I told him like 25-75 because <laughs> I got to start slow. I know. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. I just really good. Really crunchy too. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. mm. Did you tell new people that we do discussion? I you no. Oh, okay. If you're new here, tell them, baby. <laughs> right when I load my mouth. <laughs> we do discussions towards the end of the video, pretty much after we eat or when we're almost done. You know, because some people only like eating, some people probably come only for the discussion. So you kind of can fast forward if you only want to hear the discussion and you can stay for the eating if you just want to see that. And for those of you to stay all the way through. Oh, mm. yeah, just bit the hell out of my lip. Mm. Mm. I like the egg. <laughs> it's some sweet sure. thing on it, that's really good. From your lip? Mm-hmm. Dang, baby. Your lip ain't part of the pokey. I know. I need those lips. Okay. Oh. I got some sharp teeth, y'all. <laughs> For real. I do. Sharp teeth and sharp nails. I'm just, I'm like rough. What do you call it? Heavy-handed and I guess heavy mouth. Super heavy-handed. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Another good thing that I like about Pokeballs is after you eat them, you don't feel heavy. Mm. You don't feel like you need to go to sleep. You feel energized. Mm. Which is how you're supposed to feel after you eat, actually. Mm -hmm. When you eat the right stuff. So if you didn't know, to the kids or young adults, if you guys don't know, the reason why you're tired after you eat certain foods, it's because your body has to work extra hard to digest those foods. So if you eat something that your body can easily digest, like fruits and vegetables, you feel fine. Mm -hmm. But when you're eating a burger and fries and all this extra stuff, your body is working extra hard. So your body, so you're tired. You get tired. Mm -hmm. All that energy that you would have had is going towards getting rid of all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you know you got something to do and you're hungry, you don't eat know. trash. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have some spicy albacore, y'all. Mm -hmm. I 
Let me try it. Mmm. Mm hmm. That's bomb. Mm hmm. It almost tastes cooked. Yep. Wow. That's what I'm saying. That's bomb. Shoot, I should have tried that before I got mine. Oh, you God, want more? I would have got half and half. No. Oh, I'm going to take okay. some. Okay. You got too much rice, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I would like a little more green. Yeah, I think I would like more, a little more green. Really? And a little less white rice. Yeah. Is that, wait, the one that I just had was regular albacore or not spicy? It's spicy albacore. So it's, why does this one look different than that? It's accidental. How the sauce came off of it, I guess? No. I thought you got regular albacore and spicy. Or you got two. Maybe she accidentally gave me, but I meant to get two spicy. Oh. That is really good. Mm-hmm. Wow. I always bypass the albacore. Let me give them a crunch, babe. Oh, am I? Mmm. Mm. Why was that so nasty? A cucumber? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with that cucumber. Mm. Sorry. Crunch was good. Mmm. You do? Here you go, Bob. Mmm. I'm good. Okay. Now. Who feels like I'm using these chopsticks like a boss? You are? For me, you yes. Good? Yes, because I do not use chopsticks very well. I'm using them well right now. Well enough. Mm. Ooh, that was very so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's time mm -hmm. to get into the discussion, y'all. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Mm. So this is it. All right. She's gonna remain anonymous. She's <clears> one of our viewers. Hi, my name is such and such. I'm 27. I have a situation that I need help with because I don't know what to do. I was in a domestic violence marriage four years ago to my last two sons' father. And I've been trying for three years for him to spend time with his children. But it's always lies. So this August, I put him on child support and he made a false report to Child Protective Services and sent me a random text yesterday saying if I continue to follow through with child support, he will call Ch CPS on me every single month. CPS went to my children's school, made me take a drug test off of false allegations. The case is closed, but the lady told me there's nothing that she can do about him calling CPS on her every single month because they still have to come out and see what's going on and with all of that i suffer with depression and anxiety so it's been rough um that's it <clears throat> so basically she's 27 years old her ex-husband who was physically abusive um calls cps on her every single month and they do have to come out they have to open up a new case and then close the case even if she shows them that hey he's saying that because she basically already showed them she has a text message she, they still have to come out. So she has to be harassed every single month by this dude because he doesn't want to pay child support. Number one. <clears throat> that man is a sad piece of work. It's very sad. Anybody out there, male or female, who does not care about their kids' well-being enough to pay child support, spend time with them, and do all the things that a parent should do, you, you're a sad person. And you, you need to get help, oh, whatever your problem is, because you should not have brought children into this world if you weren't ready to be there for them. That's my message to people like that. Um, as far as her, I would not try to get, stop trying to get child support from him. You are going to have to deal with whatever the consequences are because he's an a-hole. If that's going to be him calling CPS, oh well, I mean, what else can you do? You, I wouldn't stop trying to get child support. Mm -hmm. So, he can keep calling and they can keep coming out wasting their time. I, I wonder if she could like document everything that he's saying and stuff and try to like bring that to the child support case. That won't do anything. Mm. 
Well, he's going to keep calling CPS. I think eventually CPS people are going to be like, I already know what's going on here. You know, eventually they're going to give up. Yeah. Okay. Eventually CPS is going to know. They're going to know what's going on. But they probably still have to come out because you never know if it's real or not. Okay. Exactly. You never know. So they can come on out. It, as long as nothing's going on, it shouldn't matter. Mm-hmm. But let's, say, out. let's say she smokes every now and then, mm-hmm. which there's nothing wrong with that in certain people's opinions. Oh, my God. You and what, not cigarettes? Yeah, not cigarettes. Oh, okay. What if she smokes every now and then and then they have to do a test and then they say, oh, well, she done something. And then, they, you know, that's not cool and that's not fair. It's not cool and fair, but what else can you do? Stop going for child support? No, Because absolutely. he's threatening you? Absolutely not. I wouldn't stop doing child support. I would just continue on with my life. Sure. That's hard for me to deal with. I feel sad. I feel bad for you. I do um, too. I think I feel that bad for the kids that their father doesn't want to take care of them, probably don't want to see them, don't seem like mm-hmm. you don't have to just abandon them. Uh huh. And then you can't do the least amount of parenting, which is give child support money. You don't even want to do that. I feel like you can go to the police because the police do not like fake um, right. false reports. And if it continues to happen over, see, because he's telling you he's, he's going to call every month, but how do you know he's really going to? Exactly. He's probably going to be like, forget it. Mm-hmm. Saying, he's, he's trying to threaten you so that you won't do it. Won't do it. But if you give up, then you don't know if he would have done it or not. Mm-hmm. Plus, I think as long as you're doing everything right, you'll be okay. Mm-hmm. As long as you're, you know, your karma is good. His karma is going to be bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, he may do it every month, especially knowing that he has to pay child support every month. So every time that check comes that he has to pay, he's probably going to call. But... That's, um, a, that's really sad. Like, how could you... It's one thing for you to have an accidental baby. You never see the child. Even though I don't think any of this is right. And then you don't want to pay child support. But you've been living in your family for years. And then you break up with your wife and decide you don't want to take care of the kids you know? <laughs> I mean, really? Sucks. That's horrible. That's horrible. That's the slap in your kid's face to me. And then, I mean, she said he don't want to even see them. Right? So he just abandoned their whole life. Mm-hmm. And it's probably one of those things where he didn't want her to leave. Those those people that are controlling and um, violent, they don't want you to ever leave. Even though they're like, even though they don't have any respect for you, don't care whether you get hurt by them or not, they still don't want you to leave. So because she left, he likes F all y'all. Correct. So I think mm-hmm. that if um, if you do speak to him, uh, it wouldn't hurt to talk to him and uh, tell him that, you know, you might get in trouble for calling CPS over and over again. And, you know, they find out that these are false allegations. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe you can scare him into something. Exactly. Or That's maybe when you go to court, maybe you can tell the judge that he's doing this and the judge can put some kind of order in with CPS or with the court that if he does call and claim he can get in trouble or he can go to jail or whatever the case is. Yeah. I, I like that plan. Okay. I would document everything he's been saying. Tell him just make up something. You know it's a felony to um, do fake CPS reports. Mm-hmm. Um, so I am documenting all of your text messages, emails, whatever saying that you are doing a fake report. But you know what? And I will turn your thing. Do you know what I didn't think about? You can call anonymously, so he can be pretending to be somebody else every single time, and they yeah, never but, really know if it's him. Right, but she, he, he's texting her saying, if you do this, you do I'm talking That's about, true. I'm talking about saving that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if he sees that nothing is happening, he's going to end up not calling CPS anymore exactly. because there, it's like nothing's going to happen. Nothing's happening. So, um, I would definitely be careful of him. I don't know if I want his abusive ass seeing my kids. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, Good if he's point. never done anything to the kids, I, I've been in a situation where... Um, uh, abusive household and I was never abused that's true you know my mom was abused but I wasn't so so anyway you guys if you have ever been in a situation where you have somebody calling CPS on you and it was false allegations over and over again like how did you handle it can you guys help her because we don't personally have any experience with that and um help her I mean we say what we can and then y'all say what y'all can we all try to help each other so exactly. tell her what y'all can tell her because I don't know would anybody out there stop getting child support because they were afraid of the CPS threat or yeah. would everybody keep going for it? Mm-hmm. I say keep trying to get the child support. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and let us know what you guys think. If you want to learn more, more about us, please subscribe to our vlog channel. The link is in the description below. 
And also make sure you set your post notifications to all so that you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres, guys. Yep. And uh, what she said. <laughs> Till next time, only good vibes.